There is a great demand for building in Panama as more and more foreigners are looking for larger and better quality homes. However, a little more than few of them encounter some problems when it comes to the contractor they select and the materials used by these contractors. Some people think that it only takes a simple press, some sand, cement and water and they are in the construction business. Government authorities have recently inspected concrete blocks sold by many businesses in Panama and they found out that they do not meet industry standards. The defects may be attributed to problems with machinery used to make them, lack of adequate supervision and incorrect mix calculations. It seems that materials are not only the source of problem when building in Panama but with the local contractors as well. An established construction company works on a very organized and efficient process that involves every step of the way. Hiring an established company may end up costing few more dollars but it will the client best chance of a timely delivery of construction within budget. The whole process before the new owners move in should be a neat, organized choreographed process where one house is done and then the crew will move on to another job. Organization, as many foreigners discover, is not the word that describes building in Panama. Panamanians are used to having multiple trades and working simultaneously so it can be very hard to reach a goal without destroying each other's work. Also in Panama, while labor is cheap, the materials used in construction are not. And not to mention the quality of these supplies. Some of the local contractors do not order enough of everything, let alone some extra. They are so used to living and thinking on a shoestring that buying and storing enough materials can be very alien to them. Since the price of materials is increasing each day, buying what you need up front seems a sensible thing to do. But this is not always the case because money is being siphoned off each job to finish the one that precedes it. Some builders are issuing hard hats, but chances are they would be used only as mixing buckets for tiny batches of cement. Workers are also used to working with rickety handmade ladders, which would never get OSHA approval. Some of the crews do not even have the proper tools of the trade, or they recreate equipment according to needs. When building in Panama, estimates are mostly guesstimates. While guessing the right quotes can sometimes work in square foot cost, this does not work when material costs are soaring. There are some cases where the contractor gives construction times, it is safe to double it since some Panamanians like to please and they tend to tell you what you want to hear. Often not what you need to. When undertaking building in Panama, the main thing the owner asks for is for the contractor to deliver and finish the project on time and within budget. If not, then at least closer to the deadline. Unfortunately, finding a qualified building contractor or a commercial general contractor in Panama is easier said than done. The first thing that you may want to look for is a set of good references. This will give you first-hand information from an actual client how well the contractor performed the job. You can also explore the option of looking into the track record of each potential candidate, like checking whether they provide the right equipment for their crews. Look into the contractor's credentials and qualifications, and check for their license, insurance and bonding compliance. When it comes to building in Panama, qualifications, credentials and a good track record are all important, but the professional work attitude of the general contractor should come first in the realization of the project's goals.